All right, hey guys, so I'm be showing you how to use WP Scan. And uh, WP Scan can be used to scan WordPress sites, right? It's something that I kind of learned when I was going for the EJPT, but they didn't fully cover it the way they should have. Um, so I'm going to show you how to get set up. All right, so I'm doing this lab here. And the first thing you want to do is go and register for WP Scan, all right? So you take this. I'll put this in the uh, description, possibly the comment section due to the limitations with the description. All right, so once you get signed in, you create your account, so you have to register first. You'll see a web page like this, right? Um, I'll show you what mine looks like, except I'm gonna hide my API key because you're gonna get your own API key, so you don't have to use mine. All right, so let me just go and pull this up over here. So you can see here, I'm, I'm signed into WP Scan. Um, this is my prof my profile. And if I scroll down, you'll see my my API key, but I'm not trying to share that. So um, once you register, just go ahead and check your email so you can confirm your email and then log in. And then once you're logged in, you'll see your API key here. And you just copy it and then go to your Linux box. All right, so once you're at your Linux box, and if you're having issues seeing this, go ahead and change the resolution to a higher resolution. Uh, that's always helped me in the past. All right. Let me go ahead and do sudo su. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe because whenever I have to upload a higher resolution video, it takes quite a long time, like 30, 45 minutes just to upload a higher quality video. So I'd appreciate that. All right, let's push this here. All right, so now we're here. So I'm going to take this. Um, I'm going to take this command, and this command is going to run WP scan using your API token on the URL, and then this is the URL of, of the web page. And the subdirectory is CEH, and it's going to detect the plugins, and it's going to do an aggressive scan and provide you the output. All right. So we're going to take this command, and you're going to have to input your API token right there, all right? So I'm going to put, put mine, sorry, input mine. So once you input it, it should look something like this. Let me go ahead and give you an example of what it looks like. I'm going to change up the API token though, so it's not the same as mine. Let me go ahead and copy this over, grab notepad. And then I'm gonna paste this in. Let me just change the API key a little bit here. So all right, so this isn't like my API key, right? I changed it. So this is what it looks like. Right. So you have WP scan space dash dash API dash token, the token that you're provided when you signed up. All right, dash dash your URL the website, port, subdirectory if needed, plugin, and then it's going to do an aggressive scan. Right, so we're going to take this, except I'm going to take the actual thing. I'll go ahead and pause it, and then I'll run it. All right, so this is what the output looks like. You get your WP scan, and then if you scroll down, you'll see, and you have to have WP scan installed, of course, so make sure that you get it from you know, GitHub. Uh, you can see the output here. So let's run this aggressive scan. It's determined that it's using uh, plugins. It's found some pH functions here, uh, full path disclosure, right? An upload directory. Uh, this is all good information. So if you're doing even like hack the box, you know, knowing that there's an upload directory can save you time. Um, knowing the themes can save you time. What if there's a vulnerability for that specific theme? Like we've seen that, uh, especially last year, there's quite a few vulnerabilities for WordPress themes. Um, so this is all really great information, right? And it's continuing to run the scan. It's not even done yet. This is just one of the enumerations it can do. It can do other enumerations. Uh, it can enumerate users. That's uh, something that it can also do. And what they're showing here is cross-site 
request forgery, which um, I've always had a hard time understanding because in most books, they don't give you an actual example of it. So in the next video, I'll show you, I'll give you an actual example of what that actually looks like. All right, so that's all I have for the WordPress. So now you've got it set it up, you've run it, and you know, know how to use it. All right, hope you enjoyed this video. Danny out.